Hello everyone. If you follow my channel, you may have seen my Miele Triflex video, Miele's first cordless vacuum cleaner. Now Miele entered the bagless vacuum cleaner market a few years ago and now there is a Miele cordless as well. So it makes me think, is there any place for a Miele mains powered bagged stick type vacuum cleaner? Well, possibly not, because Miele discontinued the H1 swing in the UK a year or so ago, and I believe it's now discontinued in the US of A. You can still buy this in Germany, and at the time of making the video, this is still showing on Miele's German website. But I think the swing's days are numbered, so I thought I'd get my very last Miele swing. Now, something I discovered recently is that if you live in the UK, you can actually order from Amazon's German website and actually have everything translated into English so it's easy to navigate yourself around. It's going to cost you a bit more to have things shipped from Germany to the UK, but it's not an excessive amount of money. So I thought, well, that's good news. To be able to get some German models I couldn't normally buy, but it's bad news for my wallet. This is a Swing Electroline. It has the electric brush, which was never actually offered on the UK versions. The first type of machine we saw shaped like this was called the Miele Alternative. And then there was the blue colored one, which I've shown you on my channel a while ago. Neither of those cleaners offered a power head option. In fact, they didn't have a power takeoff socket, so you couldn't add your own power head either. So let's have a look at the last Miele swing that I'm likely to get. So it comes with a crevice tool. This is the handle complete with the upper cord storage hook. This is the telescopic wand which also includes a little storage bracket to hold two small cleaning tools. We've got the instruction book, it's in multiple languages but it also includes the English language. This is the crevice tool. So that's the only two small tools you get with this machine. But incidentally, any current Miele tools you can buy should fit this machine if you want to get an additional dusting brush or something like that. This is the standard carpet and floor nozzle. Plastic base plate, foot operated pedal to lower a brush at the front and a squeegee at the back. But this is the electro head complete with a separate instruction book. Now this model, let's just double check which one this is. This is model SEB217 but I know for a fact that other Miele power heads should fit this including the big one with the LED lights. As long as it's got this sort of connection even if it's an older power head it should fit this H1 swing. And finally, we have the machine itself, and because this is a German cleaner, it has got the German plug on, but I'll soon be able to adapt that to fit a UK socket. Out it comes, finished in black. Okay, I'll just pop on the adapter. I can use two types of adapter. I can use a permanent adapter or I can use a plug-in adapter or I could just cut that plug off and wire a UK plug onto it but I'm not going to because I've got myself one of these three pin adapters. Ah, but I don't think this one's going to fit. No it's not because this has a round plug and this will fit a, um, a European plug but only ones that have this sort of shape, if you can just about see there. I did have another one, but I think that could be the same. So what I'm going to do, folks, I did buy myself, before getting this machine, some adapters. So I'll have to use the adapter. I won't be able to sort of semi-permanently wire this in. I can buy a plug that I can semi-permanently wire. It just fits in and you just screw it up and then it's all, you know, it's permanently attached, well, until you want to remove it. But now I'd forgotten these plugs that I've got, they won't actually fit this particular style of plug. But this adapter will, this will fit 
the Miele plug like so. It also has a fuse as well. These are from Amazon. You can buy them in packs of one, packs of two. I think I bought a pack of four. Okay, let's plug in the machine. And because we use the same voltage, more or less, as Germany, there's no need to use my little black box I have to use when I'm converting a machine I've paid for, uh, had imported from America. Okay, so this is a Swing H1 Electro Eco line. So I believe this is a 500 and 50 watt motor it's less than the other ones i've shown you yes it's 550 watt motor plus 150 watts for the power head this cleaner has two speeds a minimum and a maximum so that's on minimum it's pretty quiet and maximum Now this is sort of like the Triflex, although it's like a larger mains powered bagged version because you can use it in a similar way to the Triflex. You can use it as a handheld vacuum cleaner in this mode. So you can just put the small nozzle onto the end or any of the nozzles and use it like this. I mean, it's large and it's fairly heavy, but it is possible to use it like this to clean your stairs and upholstery. You can also use it like the Triflex with the wand so you can pop the wand on like this and then any of the non-powered tools onto here. It differs in the Triflex you can't put the power head onto the end of the wand and expect it still to be powered but you can put the regular nozzle the carpet and hard floor nozzle on the end so this helps you to clean under low furniture and you've got of course you've got then you've got the whole weight of the machine high up but you can use it like the triflex in comfort mode by putting either the power head or the standard carpet and floor nozzle on the end and then on this end you can pop the wand it just clicks in here just push it until it clicks and then onto the end of the wand you just put the handle so now you've got the weight at the bottom and it's very light to hold and you can adjust this one to a suitable height for cleaning and of course you've got your small tools that can store on board here always ready to use it's also got two positions where you can switch the machine on so when using it as a handheld you can use the switch here or once this nozzle's out the way you can actually use it when you've got it in upright mode the switch is also here as well so you don't have to bend down so far you can actually control the machine like that and you'll see it's all part of one I think it's like one single band because as I move the switch no matter where I move the switch the whole thing moves so if I move it from the top you'll see it moves at the bottom and of course if I was to move the switch from the bottom it also moves at the top So this is a bagged vacuum cleaner. There's a bag check indicator here on the bag door. To access the bag, we just press this button and open up the cover and it takes sized KK bags. They just simply pull out. And on these, you've also got a little flap so you can just close the flap over to dispose of the dirt. It's quite a small capacity, but it's obviously bigger than a bagless machine you could clean for quite some time before you have to replace the bag on this and then it's just a case of obviously just taking the old bag out putting it in the bin and replacing it with a new one there's also a filter here pre-motor filter if you just open that there we go just a little square it doesn't say anything about washing these filters but you could 
but really this is not a bagless cleaner it's a bag cleaner and especially Miele bags these aren't quite as good as the bags you get with the full-sized Miele cleaners the cylinders I don't think there's as much filtration but it's still better than many and you will find that the bag compartment will stay pretty clean and so the filter will stay pretty clean there's no mess with a bagged vacuum that's why I like bag vacuums so basically we just have to reinsert a new bag just into here push it down in the direction of the arrows until it clicks into position make sure it's tucked in and then you can close the bag door this does have a HEPA filter let's just take the handle off so I can show you a bit easier there we go turn it round and this is exhaust filter the exhaust vents are either side here and here but this is where the filter is underneath and that requires replacing about once a year on average it's not supposed to be washable but that is your final pleated HEPA it's very good quality HEPA filter you've got a good seal all around it as well obviously the motors located behind there and that should fit now actually I think we place it into here don't we that was it yeah place it into the holder actually to fit it there's even a space here you can actually write the date but it's um it won't remind you to re replace it if it's hidden in there probably best to write the date you uh, started using the machine on the instruction book so you know in about a year's time to replace the filter but I, I expect most people don't bother replacing the filters until they stop working properly well I haven't even shown you the electro head which is the main reason I wanted this particular one Miele in Germany still offer three models of this I think this is the top model with the electro head and they do two others without the electro head but I think there is still the option of attaching the electro head because it should have just here on the other machines it, there should be a power takeoff socket so you can buy a cheaper one if you've got a Miele power head it should fit one of the lower models so this is the most sort of basic and smallest of Miele's electro heads the electro comfort it's a design that's been around quite a while i think the brushes they feel a bit stiffer than i remember certainly a little bit stiffer than you'd get on a turbo brush and in fact it's not much heavier than an air powered turbo brush but of course this incorporates its own motor and it is uh, did i say it was 150 no it says only it's 50 watt motor it has a 50 watt motor inside but it doesn't matter if the suction depletes on the machine this will still rotate at the same speed you've got a nice little squeegee at the back and you can actually open this up in order to gain better access you need to give it a clean two wheels at the back and two little roller wheels at the front and you can actually use it it is rather big to use in this manner but you can use it on your stairs like this to give your stairs a good deep clean let's check that's working it's fine and dandy it'd be interesting to see if it actually works when I put it on the carpet is there anything else I can show you I think that's everything I'm going to give it a push one thing I will say now shock horror to some of you this Miele cleaner is made in China yes China a dirty word for a lot of us folk but it is made in China but you wouldn't know really it just feels the same quality as the German made Miele's there's only one clue you'd see that it's made in China and that's if you look at the back on here it says made in CN just before I see how well this Miele swing copes with my plush carpet I've got my suction gauge I've never tried the suction on one of these so it'll be interesting to see what suction we have and then I might as well just compare the maximum suction of this to the maximum suction of the Miele Triflex first of all we'll do of course the swing just at the end of the cleaner here just to get to a rough idea of the suction starting off on low power and then on max
So on low it peaked around 34 and on the highest setting around 72. OK, just out of interest, I'm going to see how much suction power the Miele Triflex has on its maximum setting. Well, unsurprisingly, the Triflex has much less suction than the swing, measuring only 26 on my suction gauge. Well, this Miele swing is quite difficult to push on this carpet on its highest setting, but on the low suction setting, it was relatively easy and the head seemed to do a good job of grooming the pile. But of course, this particular electro brush doesn't have an adjustable height setting. Now, Miele do offer some larger electro brushes with adjustable heights, so I could have raised the brush for this carpet and it probably would have been a bit easier to push. But all in all, I think low power would be more than adequate anyway on this plush pile carpet. Okay folks, after that brief demonstration, let's open up the Miele swing and look at all the mess inside. What mess? There's a bag. The lid of the bag door looks pretty clean. Let's take the bag out, it's quite full, so I'm hoping I don't spill anything. Removing it, you could always put the machine on its end. There we go, close the cover, remove the bag and dispose of the bag with the dirt inside and look at that. We have a nice clean compartment 
Let's have a quick look at the pre-motor filter. There we go. And that's one reason why personally I prefer bagged vacuum cleaners. I know it's old fashioned to like bagged vacuum cleaners, but all the dirt is kept inside the bag. It's not going inside a bagless container. It's not blocking filters. It's not getting caught around all the cyclones. Some uh, bagless vacuum cleaners seem to work very well until you open them up and you see just how much dirt has actually gathered around the cyclones, even the multi-cyclonic ones. And there's plenty of evidence on YouTube and uh, other places where you can see pictures and video of that very thing happening. So if you really care about the air quality in your home, if you suffer from allergies, then personally you can't beat, in my opinion, a bagged vacuum cleaner. And that's why I will always keep bagged vacuum cleaners. If I had to only choose a couple of vacuum cleaners in my collection, you can guarantee that they will be bagged vacuums. Well, that's the end of my video on the Miele Swing H1 Electro Ecoline Vacuum Cleaner. Now, if you're watching this in the USA and you can find this on clearance, I would definitely go for it. You don't even have to go for a model with a power head if you don't have much carpet. You could go for one of these straight suction models if you prefer. If you're looking for something to whip around your home and you don't like bagless and you don't like cordless, then this is something I would definitely consider. Don't be put off by the fact that this is actually assembled in China because to me it feels and sounds no different to my German made Miele's. The same, I've got the same design as this, a couple more of these ones in my collection, some older models made in Germany, and I cannot tell any difference between the two. And I think what Miele have done with some of the older designs They've sent all the tooling from their German factory to somewhere in China and they've had the machines assembled there where of course labour costs are much lower and thus they can offer the cleaners at a more competitive price. So don't let that put you off. It's still what I would consider Miele quality. It's one I would go for. If you're watching in the UK, the only place you can get this really, you can try Amazon. Dot de you can have one of these shipped to the uk for very little cost and they have got apart from the electro line i did see the other two models available on amazon at the time of making this video so if you have any comments or questions about the Miele swing please comment below and i'll see you all very soon for the next video bye for now